and it's a UFC middleweight division fight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice one-two there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Yeah. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great single. Oh, oh takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, second round underway. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. That was tough, yeah. Nice, right. Big body kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice. Oh, 
stiff jab in the face. There's another. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out of space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. He blocks the punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Great job by him to get the takedown. He did a good job of setting up his attack, securing it, and get the desired result. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Great punch. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. How good is that right hand? And they separate. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of oh, feints upstairs and lands flushed. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. 15 seconds to go. Whoa! So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good shots. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big leg kick land. And continues with the inside leg kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, violent strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. That oh, big knee. That knee oh. hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, that's a shot right on the button. Oh, that is the most debilitating shot. It's all the fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, collar tie. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, just digs his legs. He's out. It's over. It's over. <laughs> just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight.
Oh, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by...